Thank you. Um, uh, it's my pleasure to present the results of the Ovilar recruitment for ARDS trial on behalf of the ART investigators. These are our disclosures. And the trial organization, the study was uh, coordinated by the HCOR Research Institute in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, and with the collaboration and support from the Brazilian Research and Intensive Care Network, the BRICNET, and was funded by PROADI program from the Brazilian Ministry of Health. Uh, ARDS is a condition where functional lung size is decreased, and then uh, those patients are at increased risk for ventilator-induced lung injury, both due to overdistension of the baby lung, but also due to a trauma. And one approach to tackle the problem might be uh, the open lung strategy with uh, lung recruitment maneuvers and titrated PEEP. Uh, and actually, we have uh, some trials and systematic reviews and meta-analysis with those studies suggest that there, there might be a, even a mortality reduction in, uh, with the lung recruitment strategy, with the open lung strategy. Though the quality of evidence is quite limited because um, most were very small trials and uh, with uh, high risk of bias, indeed these trials were those who uh, were showing most of the benefit. Therefore, uh, we conducted this study to determine if lung recruitment in association with a PIP titrated according to the best respiratory system compliance would decrease the 28-day mortality of patients with uh, moderate to severe ARDS as compared to the conventional low PIP strategy. We screened for enrollment patients with moderate to severe ARDS of less than 72 hours duration. Before uh, randomization though, we, all those patients were ventilated following a protocolized uh, uh, strategy that, that is the ARDS net strategy with low tidal volume, low PIP, for at least three hours. And then blood gases would be collected, arterial blood gases, uh, with uh, standardized FiO2 and PIP. And if PF rate remained uh, below or at 200, then those patients would be randomized. And assigned or to the lung recruitment maneuver and titrated PIP strategy group, or to the low PIP group, which would follow the ARDS net strategy. Then patients were followed up for 28 days and six months too. Uh, patients that were assigned to the low PIP uh, strategy, they just uh, continued to receive the strategy they were receiving before randomization, that is the ARDS net strategy with uh, volume controlled, mode ventilation, six ml per kilo of predicted body weight, that could be adjusted down to five or four when, when the plateau pressure was higher than 30. And respiratory rate, that could be uh, adjusted up to 35. And the PIP and FIL2, those were uh, adjusted according to the ARDS net table, the low PIP table, so as to keep peripheral saturation of oxygen between 88 and 95 or PAO2 between 55 and 80 using one of the combinations of FIO2 in PIP. For those patients assigned to the lung recruitment and PIP titration group, uh, they, would be, they, they were recruited soon after randomization. Before recruitment, they were prepared. This, this preparation included uh, administering a bolus dose of a neuromuscular blocker and the fluids when the patient was fluid responsive. Uh, and then the, the recruitment maneuver itself started. It was conducted in a pressure controlled mode ventilation with a PIP of uh, 25 and a driving pressure of 15 for one minute, then 30 of, of PIP, then 35. Every step one minute. So that in this uh, last step, peak pressure would achieve 50 uh, centimeters, of, centimeters of water. After the three-minute lung recruitment maneuver, then the PIP titration started. It was a decremental PIP titration scheme. We, we started with a PIP of 23, 
then this time with a uh, volume control mode ventilation. Three minutes with this PIP, we uh, uh, calculated the static compliance of the respiratory system with uh, uh, an inspiratory pause. And then we repeated the process by decreasing the PIP to 20, 17, 14, 11, calculating static compliance in every step after three minutes. The PIP with, associated with uh, the, the best compliance plus two centimeters of water was elected as the optimal PIP. Then after the PIP titration, a new recruitment maneuver, this time a single uh, step of 35 of PIP for one minute, and then starting man, man, we, we started maintenance ventilation with the optimal PIP. Except for the lung recruitment maneuver and the PIP titration, all other mechanical ventila ventilation adjustments were made exactly as equal to the, to the control group protocol, that is to the ARDS net protocol. These are, these are our outcomes. The primary outcome was 28 day mortality. Secondary outcomes, length of ICU in hospital stay, 28 uh, uh, ventilator three days. Pneumothorax requiring drainage within seven days and barotrauma within seven days. And then ICU in hospital six month mortality. The study was designed as a, an event driven trial so that uh, we enrolled patients up to the point we observed 520 deaths, 28 day deaths. And this uh, was calculated to, to provide the study 9% power to, to detect a hazard rate of 0.75 with type 1 error of 5%. Analysis follows intention to treat principle. As the data monitoring committee uh, of the study assessed the uh, uh, interim analysis twice, then the significance level for the final primary outcome analysis was adjusted down to 0.042. Cox proportional hazards were used for primary outcome and six month mortality, for categorical outcomes, chi square tests, for continuous outcomes, generalized linear models. 120 sites participated in the trial, uh, nine countries participated. Most of the sites were in Brazil, but uh, we, are, we were so lucky to have uh, enthusiastic investigators participating in Uruguay, Argentina, Colombia, Pol po uh, Portugal, and Spain, Italy, Poland, and also in Malaysia. During the, the conduction of the study, we started in the October of 2011, and then we finished follow-up this year on April. We assessed 2,077 patients for eligibility, of whom 1,013 were randomized. 501 to the language recruitment group, 512 to the low PIP group. Uh, no patient was lost to follow-up to 28 days or six months, but we had to withdraw uh, we drew, uh, the, the, the three patients were excluded from analysis because relatives withdrew concert so that uh, all 501 patients were analyzed in the language recruitment group and 509 in the control group. These are the baseline characteristics. Uh, I, I, will, I will show, I will, uh, show you that um, or, 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 or remark here that uh, the, the CEP3 score was high at 63 points in both groups. Also, the number of non organ failures suggests a very sick patient, more than two organ failures per patient on average. And two thirds of the patients were, uh, had septic shock. The time since onset of ARDS up to randomization was less than one day, so 22 hours in both groups. And now we see some of the, the respiratory variables. You can see that the tidal volume in both groups started at baseline at zero hour, one hour, one day, three days, five, seven days. It started uh, lower than six ml per kilo, remained so up to the third day. And uh, even in the th seventh day, it was just above six ml per kilo, reflecting good adherence to the ARDS net protocol in both groups, low tidal volume. Uh, of course, PIP 
started uh, at lower at similar values, but uh, it increased to the optimal PIP in the which was 16 in the lung recruitment and titrated PIP group, as compared to 13 or 12. So a three or four centimeters of water difference between groups. And the PF ratio, which uh, increased more in the lung recruitment and titrated PIP group than the low PIP group. And was, this was maintained along the days. Driving pressure was a, was a, a variable that uh, actually decreased in the lung recruitment group, but uh, only by 1.5 centimeters of water. And here uh, we have the, the main results. You can see the, the mortality within 28 days in the low PIP group, which, and the mortality in the lung recruitment and titrated PIP group, which was significantly higher than the control group. The hazard ratio was 1.20. Uh, and the p-value 0.041. A similar pattern was seen also to, for the six months mortality with, with an increased mortality uh, in the six months, has a rate of 1.18. And when we look to the, to the secondary outcomes, we see that uh, in comparison to the low PIP group, we ob observed an increased risk of uh, pneumothorax requiring drainage within seven days. Also, barotrauma increased within seven days, although both of these outcomes of the uh, barotrauma or pneumothorax requiring drainage were uh, lower than the previous trials uh, uh, assessing PIP, even in the experimental group. Number of the ventilator free days lower in the the lung recruitment group than the low PIP group, no difference in the length of hospital stay. As for some other exploratory outcomes, I will call your attention to the, uh, that when we consider death within seven days, which were higher in the lung recruitment group, uh, and we see some specific causes, some specific problems in association with death, for example, refractory hypoxemia or refractory acidosis associated with death. None of these were different, but death of, of barotrauma, although uncommon, was more frequent in the, in the lung recruitment group also. And we, we have uh, noticed that uh, after one hour, one hour after randomization, that is the, the period where most patients had already been recruited in the, in the experimental group. We had more frequently need to start or increase vasopressors or hypotension in the lung recruitment and titrated PIP group compared to the low PIP group. No difference in refractory hypoxemia, no difference in severe acidosis. Then we looked at the mortality, 28-day mortality in subgroups. And uh, we see that in any of the pre-specified subgroups, uh, there is no sign of uh, interaction, no subgroup effects. That is, according to PF rate or CEPs3 or type of ARDS, extrapulmonary or pulmonary, duration of ARDS, or the position at baseline, supine or prone. So, in conclusion, we we see that uh, in patients with moderate to severe ARDS, a strategy with lung recruitment and titrated PIP, as compared to a low PIP strategy, increased 28 day of cause mortality. And these findings do not support the routine use of lung recruitment maneuver and PIP titration in these patients. You can also uh, read the, the results with more details in the paper published in JAMA just today. Finally, I would like to express our gratitude to so many investigators who participated in the study, the team and the coordinating office, data monitoring committee, funders and supports, and especially to the patients, their families. Thank you.